precious peculiar and you're welcome back to my youtube channel on this channel i talk about faith purpose significance abundance and how you can become the person that god has destined you to be so i'm starting a series today and it's going to be a very interesting one by his grace it's titled a man called by god a man called by god so this is going to be part one so i want you to sit back relax enjoy this series with me get your notes get your pens and let's learn together from the throne of grace Okay, so what does it mean to be called by God? To be called by God means to be chosen, to be separated, to be set apart, to be anointed, to be separated. <laughs> yes, because that's basically what I'm going to be talking about today. Separation, separation, separation. You know this saying where, this saying that, this is very popular saying, many are called but few are chosen. In this series, A Man Called by God, I'm going to be explaining the difference between the people that are called and the people that are chosen. Many are called, but few are eventually chosen, right? So I'm going to be explaining the difference. And today we are starting with separation. Separation. A man called by God is separated from the rest of the world. A man called by God is separated from the rest of the world. Separation, not as per you are isolated, you are on a different planet. No, you are still on earth. But separated in the sense that you can't do the things that people are doing. You can't say the things that other people are saying. In fact, you can't eat some things that other people are eating. You can't do some things that other people are doing. It places some boundaries on you. Being called by God, being 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 called by God, being separated by God, being set apart, it places some boundaries on you. There are some limitations. There are some things you can't do. When you are called by God, you can't do everything that everybody does. You can't go everywhere that every everybody goes. You can't just do anything like that. You can't just you can't be anyhow. You can't live an anyhow life things will change things will change now when i talk about being called by god i'm not just talking about pastors prophets mm -mm. everybody let me not say everybody is called by god but first of all as a child of god you know you not just give your life to god except if like if you are genuinely born again so it's not just out of a place of them just because of other people doing it God called you. Do you know that God called you? No man comes to God unless God calls him, unless God draws him. So you were drawn by God. Maybe in church you were given an altar call. You don't know how your two legs just stood up and how you just walked to the front. You don't know how it happened. That was God drawing you to himself. That was God drawing you to himself. That was God calling you. So first of all, we must understand that as Christians, we are first called. We are called with an assignment of the Great Commission. We are called as Christians. So don't just think I'm just talking about people that are pastors, prophets, bishops, not just them. As a Christian as you are. I know a lot of us aspire to be, uh, let's be pastors, let's be evangelists, let's be bishops, let's shake the earth. <laughs> but before then, before you get to that stage, if God willing for you to get to that, to be a pastor, a bishop, a prophet, we are all called to the Great Commission. Jesus said, before, before, before Jesus was ascending back into heaven, he said, all of you make disciples. Make disciples of all nations. Make disciples of all nations. Bring men to me. Preach the gospel. Teach the gospel. That's the assignment that God left us with. So as a child of God, it is your responsibility to bring the gospel to the nations. It is your responsibility to bring the gospel to the nations. But that's not really where we are going today. I'm talking about separation. Separation. As a child of God that is called by God and has been chosen by God, you cannot be everywhere. You cannot do everything. You cannot just be anyhow. Mm. Let, me, let, me, let me give some shall I say, personal examples now. When I was younger, I didn't really have friends. I was no, I was no a kind of here and there person. I was always to myself. I don't really know though, but I now started getting, 
and I say feeling insecure about it, like ah, nobody likes me, nobody wants to be my friend, nobody wants to be around me. Sometimes if people are having a conversation, I mean, I just want to go and check my, hey, yeah, I know that thing too. They will just snub me and just carry themselves and just start going. I'll be like, hey, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but actually, okay, so and I started talking to God about that. God, I don't like this. Why am I always alone? Why am I always separated? Why am I? Why don't? Why don't friend? Why? Why don't people want? Why? Why do is it why don't or why do people not want to be my friend? Why do why don't people want to be around me? And God said, I have separated you. I have separated you. And God, I don't know whether it was a feeling or I think it was during a message that God just told me through the word that it's because you are separated. It's because you are different. It's because there's something on you. It's because there's something on the inside of you that they have seen and and like maybe they are intimidated or maybe they are they can't just handle it. They can't just handle it. And this is not a like trying to see that so that you can like because maybe maybe you might have bad attitudes. I might not be like, eh, nobody wants to talk to me. Eh, eh don't talk to me. I'm separated. I'm better than you. Can you, can you Don't have that attitude. <laughs> Please don't have that attitude. It's not about trying to feel superior or trying to be to be better than others or trying to like to now like comfort yourself <laughs> with the fact that God has said you are a chosen generation, you are a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. Yes, you are all of that, but that does not give room for bad behavior. God hates bad character, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> God does not like bad character, and God will not, shall I say, tolerate bad character. So still on this, the, the, on this part of separation, if as a person now, maybe because of your level of spirituality, maybe because of your level of academic excellence, or by just the way you are, the way you just can't stand wrong, the way you just can't stand evil, the way you always stand up for what is right, and people are beginning to like withdraw from you because the wicked don't like good people. People are just beginning to withdraw from you, and they don't just they don't just want to have association with the lights. My dear friend, please do not be bothered. Do not be bothered. Don't be bothered. Don't be scared. Don't be bothered. Don't be scared. Don't be. Don't start to feel that there's something wrong with you. That you have issues. That you have a problem. No, you do not. You need to be comfortable with separation. You need to be comfortable with being alone sometimes. So, because there are some level. There's a level that God wants to take you to, and you can't drag all those people along. You can't bring. You can't bring all those people. You can't bring some people along with you. So be comfortable. Be okay. Be okay when people leave your boat. When people leave, if I if you carry everybody, that boat will sink. You can't tell everybody your whole set to agree with what you are doing or with who you are. Not everybody will like in your class. Not everybody will like in your set. Okay, I'm using this. I'm using school example because I'm still in school. For maybe someone that is working now, not everybody in the office will like you. Some people will hate you. In fact, they would. They will show you to your face. They will show you to your face. I don't just want this video to, to be just about friendship issues and all of that. But I know, I know deep within me that this thing, it's actually most of the reasons, most of the reason, look, the major reason why people like go through these things is it's actually a deep seated issue. Low self-esteem. Honestly, low self-esteem. I said before and I'll say it again. Most of the problems that are occurring in this in this in the in the youth is actually from low self esteem the reason why you and you 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 like let bad p m p m negative peer pressure like why you are negatively pressurized is low self esteem you are not comfortable in yourself you're not comfortable in who you are in how God has made you to be you want to prove a point you want to show revenge you want to do this you want to do that that other people are doing. Self-esteem. Your self-esteem is very important. Your self-confidence is very important. If you're not confident in like being who you are, being separated, then God cannot use you effectively. Because God cannot effectively use a man that does not even have a healthy self, a healthy, a healthy thought, that does not even have a healthy belief about himself, that does not even have healthy a healthy view on life, a healthy view on yourself, a healthy view about God. Cannot be carrying hatred, hatred towards people in your heart, and you won't go to use it effectively. 
low self esteem like it it limits the 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 the, the, the should I say the dimension and the depth at which you can be used by God. You need to believe in yourself. And God is not against you believing in yourself. That's what some people think that, ah, no, my whole trust is in God. Yes, your whole trust is in God. But you also need to believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, it's also a sign that you do not believe in God. God created you, I mean. God created you. So if you believe in God, you should believe in you. I'm going to link the video I did on overcoming lack of self overcoming so overcoming low self confidence overcoming low self confidence. I'm going to link it in the description or above here. If you believe in God, you should believe in you. If you believe in God, you should believe in you. This separation now because just one person left your circle of friends, your circle of your circle, sha. Because one person left, or even if there, even if it's everybody that left, you now now you now sit down on the floor and start crying. Hell. I've lost everything in the world. Nobody loves me. Nobody likes me. I'll soon die. Ha <laughs> Hey hey. You need to be comfortable with separation. See, people will leave. Did you tie did they tie your leg? Did they tie did they did you tie their leg to you to yourself? Like did they <laughs> Hey People will leave. People will leave. People will leave. People will leave. You might outgrow them, they might outgrow you, or God can just want to position you in a place where some people are not meant, some people are not meant to be there. Some people, they can't follow you there, they can't be there with you. So you need to be comfortable with people leaving. People will leave. They will leave. They will leave. Some people holding on to one person, I think the person is God. People will leave. People will leave. People will leave. People will leave. And you have to be okay with that. People will leave. Be okay with separation. Be okay with being separated. There are some things that God will not tell you when there are still some people around your life. Because you won't understand. You won't you won't relate. You won't flow. There are some things that sometimes that when you have too many in fact, when you have too many friends, too many people around you, you won't be able to hear God effectively. You won't be able to, you won't be able to, it can kind of limit you. So sometimes when people leave, don't start blaming yourself. God God might have orchestrated their, shall I say, departure for, from your life for a greater purpose. For a greater purpose. For a greater purpose, you must be okay with separation. You must be okay with not having friends. You must be okay with not having friends. You must be okay with separation. You must be okay with being alone at this point in your life where God is building you. You must be okay with it. You must be okay with it. You must be okay with it. Because you must you must first pass through darkness before you come out into the light. You must first there must be a there must be a pruning. There must be a talking. And there are some things that that God can't do when you are not alone. You need to be separated. You need to be separated. You need to be separated. The environment you are is very important. As a person called by God, the environment you are is very important. The environment you are is very important. I think this video is basically addressing the people that, that have already been separated in one way or the other from people. I think the next video will like address the people that want to be separated and want to be called by God. So these videos are just people that are already called by God. When I said in my journey of live now, I hope you guys know that I wrote a book titled Live Now. Link in the description below if you want to purchase your copy. And like people were like how did she do it? Wow, Mado in such a short time. Like and all of that. And people started to like start from me thinking that maybe and it was not a thing of 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 it was not as if I was proud or arrogant or going around and seeing it up and down or like trying to shove it in their faces that young girl with a book da, 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 da. no it was not that people just said I just noticed it people just said to withdraw like I said before it's not for it's for not for you to get into your head and be proud about it but no you are different you need to understand that you are different you need to understand that you are different. You need to understand that there's something on the inside of you that the world is waiting to see. The world is waiting to see. And some people, they can't accommodate your vision. They can't accommodate who you are. They can't, like, they can't, they can't, they can't handle it, basically. They can't handle it. And it is not their fault. So don't start blaming them. And it's not also your fault. So don't blame yourself when people are living your life. It is not your fault. It is not your fault. Provided you do not have bad character.
<laughs> it is not your fault. Praise God. It is not your fault. So don't ask her to feel that ah the whole world is against me. That's the end. It's done. No. No. You must be okay with separation as a person called by God. You will you will lose friends though. Let me just tell you. You will lose friends. If you are the kind of person that God has told you, see, dedicate yourself to you dedicate yourself to this church, dedicate yourself to this ministry. Come earlier than other people. Clean the church. Take care of take care of other things. People will start to you like, cause you in fact your normal schedule, your life schedule. The people that might be in the same class, studying the same course with you, but your schedules are totally different. Not because you are doing the, you're not doing different courses. Like you are doing the same thing, same time for class, same time for exam, everything. But your schedule is different. Please, won't, won't people like live your life because you won't have time for you won't have time for the things you had time before. Like I said, you are called, you are separated, you are different. You are different. You can't do everything that people are doing. You can't be everywhere that people are. You can't. You can't do everything that people are doing. You are different. You need. You are different. And until you understand that you are different, you won't. You won't progress in this journey. You won't progress in this journey. That was also something I learned the hard way because I was like, ah uh ah, -uh, man, do see all the things I'm doing? Why are people not like? Should I say like why are they not recognizing me? Why are they not say ah? Um, why are they not? Why are they not pushing me forward? Why are they not? Why are they not encouraging me? Why is nobody caring, basically? Because otherwise, when I feel like, ah, God, does anybody even care about the thing that I'm doing? Does anybody care? Like, who is my audience? Do they, do they really care? Like, do they... Do you understand? So there will be a lot of things that you are doing. Don't expect everybody around you to push you. Don't expect everybody around you to push you. They don't have the capacity to support your vision. And it's not their fault. Neither is it yours. They don't have the capacity. They don't have what it takes. And I'm not, I'm not talking about resources, like financial resources, like money, cash. No, not exactly. They don't have the support to give you. They don't have the... They don't have the... Oh, Lord, what's the word? They didn't give you the vision, so they can't validate it. They can't validate it. And they can't handle all the things you are doing because they feel like, I, I, I you know my mates, we're not literally born in the same year. Like, how come you are moving faster than me? How come <sighs> there are pains in being called? Though. There are some pains in being called, but the truth is that the glory far exceeds the pain. The glory far exceeds the pain. The glory far exceeds the pain. To be called by God is a sacrifice. That, that should be like another part in this series. Surrender will also be here. Service, sacrifice, separation. You must be okay with not being okay. <laughs> People will think you are abnormal. People will wonder how you do some stuff that you do. People will be surprised. They will, be, they will just not be comfortable around you. The man will not even be believing believers. <laughs> I said believing believers. Tongue speaking, fire brand believers. But because they are not really called to the level that you are called to, they're not called to the things that you are called to. They don't understand the caliber of who you are, of what you are called to, of your purpose, of how you are designed by God. Because they don't understand, they tend to withdraw. And you must be okay with that. Not everybody can be in your boat. Not everybody can be in your boat. Not everybody can be in your boat. I learned this the hard way. Trying to force some friendships that were not even meant that I was not even meant to be in at the beginning in the first place. Trying to force some things to happen. And when I know and the Holy Spirit was trying to like hold me back, but no, but like, no, I must fight for this friendship. No, I must fight for this friendship. Please don't get me fighting for what God did not tell you to fight for. Because you waste your efforts, you waste your time, and you will look stupid in the end. You will look stupid in the end. You are meant to be chasing God, not people. Chase God. Let people see God and people will come. Let people see God through your life and they will come to you. Let people see God through your life and they will come to you. Let people see God through your life and they will come to you. Let people see God through your life and they will come to you. You must be okay with separation. As you are called by God. I think I should give more context on this. As you are called by God, like I said before, it's not just about being a pastor, a prophet, a bishop. You can be called by God to be a YouTuber, like myself. You can be called by God to be a podcaster. You might be called by God to be 
a children teacher you might be called by god to be what else can i use a blogger you can you might be called by god to even be a social media influencer you might be called by god to be social media and because People around you be like, why are you aiming higher? Why are you first of all, some of most of us that are being called into this Christian creative space, it's not as it's not like that was what something we wanted for ourselves from the start. It's not like something that I, I really I, I it's not it's not something like I aspire to to be or to do. It was something that God laid in my heart. Something that God laid in your heart. So don't let people now turn the vision into an ambition. Don't let people now try to degrade and and diminish your calling and like just like trivialize it that's also the danger of being in some environments that you're not meant to be in as a person called by god some friendships some relationships that are toxic to you and your calling because as and now you are you are seeds people in my generation what do they call us again See, millennials youth sha generally a christian creative that is a youth most of the time okay Generally, you are still you are still a seed. We are still seeds, right? And some environment you are in will choke that seed and will not let it grow. Will not let it grow. When you are trying to explain away some things, if you don't, and that thing is that if you don't respect who you are and what you do, people will respect you. Like when you are chasing for some friendships and trying to fight for it and force it to happen, you will lose <laughs> you will lose your value in their sight. That's another thing. That's another thing that. I've learned in a couple of months you lose your value in their sight although you are not meant to chase for to be valued and to be liked in the eyes of men but why not just chase god and focus on what he has asked you to do as you are focused some things will begin to fall off they will fall off they will just lose their grip on you and those friendships that are going and disintegrating they are part of the things that are going off the part of things that means go, so don't go and be chasing it. You are called by God. You need to be okay with separation. You need to be okay with isolation. You need to be okay with being alone. You need to be okay with being different. Let me even say you need to be okay with being insulted because they will insult you in to your behind your back, to your face, in your <laughs> number of write letters you saying you are not. Uh, mm -hmm. You must be okay with it. Is the cost, it's part of the cost of being called by God. Also, the sacrifices attached to being called by God. But never forget this the glory far exceeds the pain, right? The glory far exceeds the pain because God is not a user of men. God is not a user of men. Characteristics of a man called by God separation. You must be willing to separate yourself. You must be willing to separate yourself. Pray. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. God just spoke something to me right now. God just said something to me right now. In that what I just said, you must be willing to separate yourself. Some people, the issue you're having is not that some friends are like they're really leaving you. They're not they're not leaving, they're not saying I'm getting out of this relationship. <laughs> they're not the ones saying that, but God is the one telling you to take a step and separate yourself. And most times that is even harder. Because you have to do the work of <coughs> actually separating yourself. Not talking it, not not talking to them again, trying to like ignore them, trying to like avoid them, try to like separate yourself, like carry yourself and like leave their midst. Trying to like reduce the familiarity. That one is harder. And some people don't want to do the God has been nudging them. Separate yourself. Separate yourself. Come out from among them. Come out from among them. What fellowship does light have does light have with darkness? God has been nudging you. God has been telling you, but I don't want to hurt their feelings. I don't want them to see me as a bad person. I don't want them to start saying things about me. I don't want them to feel that I'm not good. I don't want to, ah you are delaying yourself. Because there are some levels you won't get to if you have not separated yourself god cannot be talking to you in a crowded place charlie put that charlie in a place that is crowded or people that are not for him charlie those friendships are not godly but even if they are godly why are you like comfortable in your disobedience you are so you are, you are, you are caring more about the feelings of a man than the feelings of god really 
You are caring more about the feelings of a man than the feelings of God. Why? Why are you comfortable in disobedience? Why are you comfortable in your disobedience? God has told you to separate yourself. God has told you to separate yourself. And the Spirit of God is a very gentle spirit. Since you don't want to live among them, it might as well leave you to go and be with them. Should we rather choose people over God? I might just leave you. I might just leave you. I might just leave you. Try to make your calling an election show. Strive to make your calling an election show. Strive to make your calling an election show. Don't be disobedient to God. Don't be disobedient to God. God might tell you, God, God might be telling you to leave that particular friendship, leave that particular environment, change location. Just like, just like take a 360 degree turn. Or you are still arguing with God, but like, God, this person is a good person. Do you know the person's heart? Let's say you know the person. But why not just obey God? Why not just obey God? Why are you comfortable in your disobedience? Why are you comfortable in your disobedience? Why are you comfortable in your disobedience? Or are you feeling that if you separate yourself from them, you won't find friends as them anymore? Are you afraid that if you leave them now, who else will, who else will talk to you? Ah, if I leave this friendship now, who will not be my friend? Who will I work with? Who will I talk to? Who will help me? That is a sign of low self-esteem. That is a sign of low self-confidence, like I said before. It's a deep-seated issue. It's a sign of low self-esteem. It's a sign of low self-confidence. Never rate people more than God. Some people rate man too much. They rate men too much. How you why will you raise a man so highly in your mind, in your life that they now take the place of God and you rather make them feel okay at the expense of your heavenly father? At the expense of the person that called you, at the expense of the person that gave you the breath in your nostrils. Separate yourself. Separate yourself. So this message is for, first of all, a set of people that have already been called. That have already been called by God to be Christian creatives, to be pastors, to be evangelists, to be whatever it is that God has called you to be or to do. And you are struggling with relationships like, ah, should I leave this friendship? Should I not leave this friendship? Will I find another friendship? This is God's call to you today. Fear God because the fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom. Don't rate a man higher than God. Don't rate people so highly. Don't rate man more than God. Do not rate man more than God. God should have first place in your life. Like I said in my previous video about self-love. First is first. First is not second and you know it. First is first. It is not second. It is not the same as second and you know it. First is not first. So first, first, first is first. First is not second. First is first. First is not second. So separate yourself. So to, to, to a set of people, be okay with separation. They have already left. God forced them out by force. They have already left. Be okay with separation, right? Be okay with separation. Then the next of the people, God is telling you, God is nudging you. Leave that relationship. Leave that friendship. Leave it. My friend, leave it. 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 Honor God more than man. Honor God more than man. Take God higher than man. You should not be okay. In, you should not be okay living in disobedience. You should not be. You should not be comfortable in disobedience. You should not be comfortable. You should not be okay disobeying God. You should not be. You are called by God. Understand that you are to separate yourself. Whether the separation was forceful or whether the separation was was is the kind that God is telling you to separate yourself by yourself. Praise God.
I know it can be hard. I know it can be difficult. I'm not here to just trivialize it and make this thing look like an easy thing. Being a Christian creative, being being called by God into any sphere of influence, into any mountain, it's it's it's, it's, it's a sacrifice. It costs. It costs. It really does. But don't forget that the glory is always greater, right? So I know that it's not easy. I know that it's not easy. I just want to pray for the people that maybe their issue is on, is one of low self esteem. It's okay. You might want to admit it or not. You might not want to admit it. I was deceiving myself for years that I don't have low self. I do have low self esteem. Until God showed me by myself, my eyes I saw it like this. Or more, if they should count my low self esteem, like zero to ten. In fact, I was twelve point five. <laughs> It was it was serious. It was bad. It was bad. So you like trying to not take the matter as a problem. It's already a problem on its own. Because if you don't see a problem as a problem, that's a bigger problem. If you don't see a problem as a problem, that is a bigger problem. So don't be the cause of your bigger problem when there was already a problem that probably you let Basically, I just want to pray for you. I'm not here to point accusing fingers. I've been there before. I've been there before. And it is, it is not, it is not a, first of all, it's difficult to admit. Secondly, it can be so subtle. It can be so subtle. You might not know. You might not know. And you don't know that it is costing you a lot. And I know that God delivered me from it. I'm here to pray for you today that if it is low self-esteem or lack of self-confidence or fear of not finding new friends or finding a new circle, things are see God will always provide the people that you need for your assignments. He will provide them. There are people you need for your assignments. There are people you just need around you. They will not be helping you. You might not understand the kind of support they are providing, but God has placed them in your life to provide a kind of support. It might be emotional support. It might be them just it might be them just like like even though they don't tell you, congratulations for this big win of yours. Even though they don't tell you, yeah, keep going, you are watching, we got your back. They are there for a reason. And God will provide those kind of people. God will not leave you alone in this journey. God will not leave you alone in this journey. He understands that man cannot be in isolation. So he will first take the people that don't need to be there so he can make room for people that need to be there. You know that, you know that situation when you have a friend... That two of you have two people are friends. Then another friend now comes in the midst of the friendship. Then the friend, the two friends are not close again. So one of the friends is now closer to the new friend that just came. So things now get messy and dicey and just somehow. <laughs> I'm not sure really how that really relates, but you need to one needs to go so that another one can come in. In this case, there are not, it's not it's not it's not it's not everybody that can coexist. The new set of people that God wants to, to like co like connect you with. They might not, should I say, flow or like be in the same line of spirit with the people that God wants to set you apart. So it's all that cannot coexist. So you are, there's friction and something is not right. And it's not meant to be. God wants, you need a healthy environment. You need a healthy space. You need a healthy, you need, a, you, need you need, you need to be like, okay. To fulfill this purpose that he has given to you you need to be okay to fill this assignment to fill this calling you need to be okay you need to be okay so there can't be friction and things are dice and you're trying to like like to explain to that friend to the new sort of friends why the sort of friends do the things that they do and you are just things should change things should change and you should be okay with change because god will strip you of a lot of things God will strip you of a lot of things, a lot of things. See, as you're on, on this journey, expect to like literally have nothing because <laughs> everything that you thought you had, everything that you thought you are, God will take it away and He will give you a new identity. He will take it away. He will take it away. Be okay with being separated. Be okay with it. Be okay with it. Be okay with it. One of the reasons why you might not be okay with this is low self esteem. Low self esteem, lack of self confidence. An unhealthy view about life and self. Lack of faith in God, in fact. Because God that gave you the first friends he gave you, or maybe he didn't even give you. Are you the the the, the, the first of friends you have that you have that you had, I mean. What stops him? What do you think will stop him from bringing another sort of more better, more amazing people into your life? People that will help you advance his cause in your heart. Lack of faith in God. 
lack of faith in God, lack of confidence in God. Praise God. I hope you have been blessed by this video today. You must be okay with separation. You must be okay with separation. You must be okay with being alone. You must be okay with being different. You must be okay with not being okay. You must be okay with not being okay. You must be okay with not being okay. And God will specifically bring some things in your life that will like be repulsive to them. Like I said, light cannot cohabit in darkness. Even if the friends you had before, they are Christians. They are not bad people. Because it's not, it's not, I'm not just trying to say that every other, every single person you had in your life was a bad person. No. But there's still, there's still a degree you need to get to. There's a level that God wants to take you to and you need a new set of people. So be okay with change. Be okay with change. Be okay with change. And when you are shutting that door of friendship, when you are shutting that relationship, the door of that relationship, please don't do it harshly. Don't do it, eh, hey, you are, don't be like, you are, you, you are, 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 you are a poison to my destiny. <laughs> you are, you are, you are, you are, you are targeting my life. Don't, don't, don't go and do that. Don't go and do that. Ask the Holy Spirit for help to shut that door gently. Ask the Holy Spirit for help to shut that door gently. And, Joyfully embrace and enter into the new door that is opening up to you. Joyfully embrace and enter into the new door that is opening up to you. I see, I see God helping us in the name of Jesus. I see God granting us understanding. I see God removing every form of low self-esteem from our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that this thing is very deep-seated. It's a subtle problem. But first not understanding or first not acknowledging as a problem is even is an even bigger problem. Father Lord God, we just come to you this evening and we just say, God, of ourselves we are insufficient. We know that we don't have healthy view. We don't have a healthy view of ourselves, a healthy view of you. We ask God that you fix our mindset. Fix our mindset, fix our view of life. Place in us the fear of God to put you above man. To stop caring about what people are thinking again. At, at the expense of what God is thinking, at the expense of God, at the, at the of, what, of what God wants, in the name of Jesus Christ, help us, God, not to be comfortable in disobedience just because we are caring about what people will think. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, help us to stay in You. Help us to not forfeit our assignments because of people. Help us not forfeit our assignments because of people. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the people that you have been nudging to leave those particular relationships, to leave those particular friendships. The people that you have been nudging, the people that you have been telling and giving them like hints, like pushing them to try and just, just leave that relationship, just leave that environment, just leave that circle of people. But Lord, help them to do it. And help them to do it with wisdom as well in the name of Jesus. Help them to do it and help them to do it with wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace of Lord God, the grace of God for a new heart. Renew our spirit, Lord God. Renew our heart. And as you are fixing and renewing our hearts, Father Lord, put you first. Put yourself first in our heart, Lord God. Put yourself first, Lord God. Not any man, no family, no friendships, no people. In the name of Jesus, put yourself first in our hearts. Recreate a new heart within us in the name of Jesus Christ. A heart that pants after you in the name of Jesus Christ. A new mindset. Understand that we are to understand that we are called. To understand that we are called. To create in us a new mindset, a new heart, a new mentality, Lord God. A new mentality, a new approach in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God, because everybody that is suffering from low self-esteem here is healed in the name of Jesus Christ. As you did it for me. God, as you did it for me, you will do it for each and every one of us watching this video right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for that for answering our prayers. Thank you, Lord God, because I have granted each and every one of us the grace to understand that we are called. Because this thing, it requires an understanding. Because if we don't understand it, we won't maximize it. If we don't understand this, we won't maximize it. We won't maximize the, the, our, our calling. We won't fully accomplish it. Low self-esteem limits you, God. That's something you have taught me. Help them to understand it to God. That low self-esteem limits them in the name of Jesus Christ. That low self-esteem limits what you can use them to do. Limits the level and the depth of which you can take them to. Father Lord God, we thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you, Father Lord God, for in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, because you are good. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. We're free. Somebody's free here. Somebody's free here. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you for our foundation our prayers for in Jesus' precious name. So yes guys, that's the video for today. A man called by God separation. A man called by God separation. You must be okay with not being okay. You must be okay with being alone. And it's just for a time really. It's just for a time. Because Failure is an orphan, but success has many fathers. So you see people come to you. Don't worry, just for a season, right? It's just for a season. So if you are blessed by this video, please like, share, subscribe. Share to anyone that... Share to all the Christian Christians you know. Anyone that has been called by God and separated by God. Anyone that is just so focused on their spiritual journey and they are losing friends and they are worried about it. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed in Jesus' name. You are healed in Jesus' name. So just share to everyone, share to people that you know that this will be a blessing to. And I see God blessing you and helping you in the name of Jesus Christ. See you in my next video. I love you and so does God.